Have you ever wondered what it's like to play baseball for the Chicago Cubs? Okay, <laughs> scratch that. Have you ever wondered what it's like to live in Mesa, Arizona, home of the world famous Chicago Cubbies spring training facility? Well, if you have, Mesa is an amazing city, guys. It is the largest suburb in the entire world by population with 540,000 residents. And if you wanna know more about it, we're getting after it right now. So stay tuned, let's go. Guys, thank you for joining our YouTube channel, Everything Phoenix, where we are discussing just that. And one of those awesome city suburbs of Phoenix, Arizona, is right here in wonderful Mesa, Arizona, located just in the East Valley, obviously the east side of the greater Phoenix metro area. And like I mentioned earlier, one of the largest, excuse me, I'm sorry, Mesa, the largest suburb in the entire world by population with over half a million people and 139 square miles. That is larger than the city of Seattle, Washington, okay? It's the third largest city in the state of Arizona, and it's just a great place to call home. Now, Mesa is divided up in about three different sections. You have West Mesa, Central Mesa, and then East Mesa. We're going to explore all of those here today. The at median age in Mesa is actually a little bit younger than the state of Arizona at 36 years of age. And the median household income in Mesa is $77,000. Mesa is bordered to the north by the Salt River Pima Native American Reservation and then to the often in the distance here to the west you can see uh, Tempe with the tall buildings down there by Tempe Town Lake right over there and then off in the distance is South Mountain which is South Phoenix behind Tempe. Here's the Mesa Riverview Park, guys. This was put in as part of the entire project for Mesa Riverview, obviously, and you have not just the shopping and the restaurants, but you have office buildings, as you see in the foreground, and hotel accommodation. I mean, courtyard to Sheraton. Great place for the bring the family out here. There's been some charity functions that and events that happen on this, uh, this lawn right here. It's a real nice overall place. guys, as you can see in West Mesa, listen, there are positives and negatives to every single town or city in America. And if you're going to talk about a not as nice area of Mesa, it's going to be West Mesa. We're at the intersection here of Country Club Drive and Rio Salado in the heart of West Mesa. As you can see, West Mesa is more of a older area in terms of when it was developed and the housing built and all the commercial buildings that were built were built much older. West Mesa was the first part of Mesa that was founded and obviously incorporated. So you're gonna have an older, not quite as uniform and nice area uh, when it comes to Mesa overall. So our job on these videos, guys, we really feel sincerely that it's to show you everything about a city and everything about a town, not just the good and the great stuff, but also, also the stuff that's, you know, that's actually here. It's real life. It's not, there's no agenda. It's, it's just straightforward. So you guys are fully informed of every single place that you might be interested in when it comes to the greater Phoenix area. In West Mesa, it's not the as nice uh, part of Mesa, obviously. As you go further east, uh, Mesa becomes newer and a little bit nicer overall. And that's just how it is. And that's most towns, guys, when it comes to the part of, of any city or town that is built you know, that's older and built uh, first when it was uh, developed, 
now it's going to be older and potentially maybe a little more less taken care of and so that's the same for any part of any city and in mesa west mesa would be that mold Okay guys, so we are now pulling into downtown Mesa. This is an amazing district. First and foremost, as you can see, you have the light rail here on the left-hand side. Phoenix is very spread out overall, so the public transportation outside of busing is somewhat lacking for a major metropolitan area. However, Phoenix does have a light rail system and it does go into downtown Mesa and throughout the West Mesa area, which is really cool. So you can see it right here, live in action. It's coming up here, I think, pretty soon. But you also have a lot of quaint shops here in downtown Mesa, businesses, banking, and some restaurants as well that we're going to check out. I also hear they have a very cool coffee shop that we're gonna go check out right now because you know we have to explore the best coffee in all of Phoenix. And so we're checking out one by one, every city we go to, this coffee shop comes highly recommended, so stay tuned. Looky, 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 three hour parking. Wow, I gotta love the city of Mesa. Free parking in the city of Mesa. I mean, does it get any better in downtown? Okay, now we're gonna break the law in Mesa too, so the police department's right over here, but we're gonna jaywalk. Jaywalking across the light rail too. Oh boy, this is risky. <laughs> Sam, don't get us caught. Okay guys, let's go into Jared's Coffee and see what's up. That's awesome. So, so what was the award you guys got? Uh, Governor Ducey's uh, Art Award for the State of Arizona about six months ago. They got the Governor's Art Award for the State of Arizona. Yeah. Beating out like Sedona, Prescott, all those other coffee shops. Yeah, flag. That's awesome. Really cool. Really cool. See, if I already had permission, I'd get after it like Mozart. Hello. Wow, this place is cool. So, do you live in Mesa? What is it that you love about Mesa and living here? I love the closeness of everything. You can get, you know, grocery stores or anything else by bus or rail. Yeah. I have a three-wheel bike, so. A three-wheel bike? Yeah. Nice. Uh, stay close. You're the first person I ever met with a three-wheel bike, yeah. just so you know. I see him, but I've never met one. Well, mine's tethered out back. There's a little back patio and I have a chain defense. Nice. And a uh, helmet. Yeah. 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 So how that long way you... I don't fall down, <laughs> you know, because I have two wheels in the back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. How long have you been living in Mesa? I've been here about six years. Six years? If there's one thing you could change, what would it be? I think I would change the way that they take care of indigent people. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, good, good. You're a vet? Uh, yeah. Oh, I gotta shake your hand then. Thank yeah. you for your service, sir. You bet, are yeah. you a vet? Uh, I'm not. I, my my uh, grandfather was on Omaha Beach, and my dad was in the Air Force uh, uh -huh. in Vietnam. And uh -huh. but I went to uh, play football in college instead, so I didn't. I didn't go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm a Vietnam vet. Yeah. So lucky sergeant, and he was a sergeant in the Air Force. So he's sergeant sergeant. That's really cool. <laughs> Man, there's a lot of first times going on right now. I've never three wheel bike and a sergeant sergeant. I don't know. Jeez, Mesa Mesa is awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Really appreciate it. All right, guys. So we just left Jared's coffee shop. Amazing. And 
We gotta, let's go, it's go time. And we're actually adhering to the law right now and walking across the crosswalk. You know, you just can't take too many chances in life, right? We made it once, we don't wanna test it the second time. Not in the city of Mesa. Okay, here's the Mesa Center for Performing Arts, which is awesome, right in the heart of downtown Mesa. Mesa has a pretty cool arts scene with uh, this Center of Performing Arts as well as an amphitheater right here in the downtown Mesa area. Okay guys, let's talk about employment uh, in Mesa. As you know, Mesa is a very large city, and uh, but because it's uh, so close to the greater Phoenix area, as a matter of fact, you cross the street, now you're in Phoenix, or you cross the street and you're in Tempe, or Scottsdale, what have you, because it's uh, located to all these other different major employment centers, the city of Mesa itself doesn't have a lot of, you know, say Fortune 500 companies or anything of that nature. The largest employer in the city of Mesa is Banner Health. So healthcare down here is uh, obviously top notch. It's very good. There's several uh, hospitals, so you're never that far away from, uh, you know, uh, medical need if you are in uh, in need of it. And uh, the second largest employer is actually the city of Mesa itself. Being the fact it's a large city, and being the fact that a lot of people who live in Mesa end up going elsewhere, you know, cr driving over to Tempe or Phoenix or whatever for employment. It doesn't have to have a lot of these large employers, but the city is so big that you have to have all the services of a major city. Now the, whoa, Sam, check this out. This guy's blocking the whole intersection. <laughs> these truck drivers. That was kind of cool, right? You know, you don't see a 18 wheeler on a residential street very often blocking traffic. Anyways, I digress. The third largest employer is Boeing. Now we all have heard of Boeing and you think of obviously Seattle and the Pacific Northwest when it comes to Boeing, which you should because that's where the headquarters are located. However, Falcon Field, which is an airport that is in central to northeast Mesa, does house a huge Boeing presence and it's a private plane airfield. So you don't have any commercial airlines going in and out of Falcon Field, but you do have a lot of activity when it comes to you know private uh, planes and whatnot flying in and out of the airport. <music> Okay, so we are pulling up here on Golfland Sunsplash. This is the amusement park here located in Mesa, Arizona. As you can see, it is full of really cool water slides actually. You really get a, a good feel for a good water park here in Mesa and it's located right in the, the southwest corner of Mesa. You have go-karts and you have water slides, a couple big ones actually, and a lot of amusement park rides that you see kind of everywhere in a little uh, western town square up here with some putt-putt golf, bumper boats, and a little bit of everything that you'd expect in a midtown sized amusement park. So if you're in Mesa looking for something to do, this is a pretty cool option, especially if you have kids. Okay, so guys, we are on the US 60, which is the main artery, main interstate that runs east and west right through Mesa, Arizona. You see you got about six lanes on both sides of the uh, interstate, and this interstate is busy almost all of the time. But it's great because Mesa is very long when it goes east and west, and this helps you get to where you're going uh, quickly. Mesa also has the 202 loop, it's called the Red Mountain Loop, that goes around the north side of Mesa as well, all the way out to the east side, and then reconnects actually with the US 60. So very easy to get around when it comes to Mesa and the transportation, which is one huge reason why uh, Mesa is, is still growing uh, very rapidly, especially out in East Mesa, where you know it's kind of far away to some degree, but with the interstates, the way they are set up, it's very easy to get, where, get to where you're going. Speaking of transportation, you know, we talked about air flights and planes and transportation when it comes to that a little earlier when you talked about Falcon Field. 
that's a small little airport that has private planes where Boeing has a huge presence. Mesa also has the Williamsfield Gateway Airport, which is on the, the southeast border of Mesa and Gilbert, very close to Queen Creek as well. Now, the yeah, Williams uh, uh, Gateway Airport is a much bigger airport and it actually does have a commercial airline that does fly in and out of there and that's called Allegiant Airlines. Now, if you haven't heard of Allegiant, you got to check them out. There are a lot of people who actually choose to go out to Mesa, especially if they live in the East Valley here, and fly Allegiant Air out of Williams Gateway instead of going to Sky Harbor because Allegiant is very cost affordable and it goes to a lot of mid-major cities across the United States that you know you can fly direct to right from Mesa. So where you know let's say Grand Island, Nebraska, if you're gonna fly into there, you're going to get a connection flight from Phoenix, right? You can fly United Airlines or American Airlines or what have you. But with Allegiant Air, there's a lot of cities like that, you know, in Idaho or wherever, that you can fly direct right from Mesa. So check out Legion Air, very affordable and some more unique flights that they have going to certain cities right out of Mesa. So right now, guys, we are passing Val Vista Drive. You just saw a sign for it. That's the exit off the US 60. And Val Vista, it kind of marks the, one of the areas of Central Mesa on the way out to East Mesa. So we are uh, going through the US 60 right now and we are actually in the Central Mesa area. Now, one unique thing about Arizona and their transportation system around the Phoenix area, if you look, look straight ahead here, you see the bridge, okay? Now, notice how the 60 kind of sits down and everything else is up above. So, in Arizona, whereas most of uh, cities across the country, the bridge will be built up above, you know, grade level, so to speak. Well, in Arizona, they dig down and actually uh, build the interstate system for most of them down below grade, which is kind of cool. And one of the main reasons they do that is to control the sound that all the cars and everything puts off from the road noise driving so fast on the interstate so that if you have a business or a housing neighborhood is close to the interstate, it's not going to be as loud. And they have these sound barrier walls they put up right here that you can see, which are really cool to help su suppress a lot of the sound from the road noise as well. Lastly, regarding that, if you look at the interstate, you'll see it's, it's, it, the pavement is black, okay? Arizona has asphalt that is noise-reducing asphalt that they use, which is, again, really cool, and that's why you have such a smooth ride when you're driving your car in Arizona. We don't have to worry about snow, so we don't have to worry about you know uh, snow plows on the roads, so you can have nice, clean roads, hardly any potholes, reflectors between lanes because you know the snow plow never has to hit, you know hit those things if they're not right during right down the lane just really cool experience when you're driving with transportation in the greater phoenix area and of course in mesa Look at all the new housing development coming on here, guys, right here in Southeast Mesa. This is the new part of the master plan community of Eastmark that we are going to tour here. It is vote has been voted America's number one master plan community. Again, the number one master plan community in the entire country um, right here. So um, this is something we're definitely going to check out and you guys will be impressed with Eastmark and East Mesa in general. So we are in East Mark in East Mesa, Arizona. Again, East Mark is, uh, has been voted the number one master plan community in all of America. So what an honor. And it's still not even close to being fully developed. As you saw on, earlier, uh, on the earlier video, there is plenty of construction still ongoing. But we are going to give you guys a little taste of what it's like living in East Mark. All of these amenities, it is quite incredible to be out here. I mean, Eastmark guys is actually in the process of building out 
a legacy sports complex. Legacy Sports Complex is a huge sports park that's going to have over 320 acres. That's right, 320 acres. That's how big the sports park is right here in East Park. I, I mean, I can't wait. They're gonna have international soccer matches and they're gonna have all kinds of sports you could possibly ever think of right out here, hosted in uh, Legacy Park here in Mesa. And again, that's under construction, being developed right now as we speak. So this is quite the area. East Mesa is booming. East Mark in general is booming. And guys, this land that East Mark is uh, sitting on, actually for decades and decades, was owned by General Motors. It was their probing grounds where they tested, actually, a lot of cars and development of cars and vehicles to withstand the elements and test drives and all that stuff. So when you saw like a crazy car commercial, you know, with a, a test dummy in it or a, a driver of some sort, that was this land that East Park is sitting on. So here we are, we're pulling up next to the Steadfast Farm Store. Guys, this is awesome. East Mark has farm the table, so we're gonna go check it out right now. Guys, this is amazing. Let's go check this out. Guys, East Mark has farmed a table where you can come here and get your produce and all kinds of stuff grown right here. You can walk across the street from your house and come buy some stuff. Let's check it out. Oh, self-serve checkout. Look at this, guys. No employees, self-serve. You come in here, you can get tomatoes, garlic. Check it out, Sam. Popcorn olive oil, flowers, you got carrots, green onions, oh my goodness, eggs, milk, bread, right here in your own little town of Eastmark. It's a subdivision, but kind of like a town, pretty cool. The hats, really cool. Guys, just one of the many benefits of living right here in Eastmark, or not, but if you live here, it's a lot more convenient. It is a self-sustaining, almost like a city. It's so big, has a little bit of everything, schools, your own fresh produce. This is amazing, guys, right here in East, in East Mesa at Eastmark. Okay guys, housing in Eastmark. Now, they're still being built out and prices uh, obviously change as homes appreciate in value in this market. But right now in Eastmark, for about a 1,500 square foot home on a normal size lot, like a lot of these you're seeing right now, you're looking at about $450,000 starting for a newer house. And then that goes all the way up to you know about 1.1 million for say 4,000 to 4,500 square feet of a property on maybe just a little bit larger lot. So prices uh, fluctuate tremendously here based on the size of lot and of course, size of home. Okay guys, we are coming up here on East Mark High School, the Firebirds. This is a brand new high school that was just built and it is huge. Uh, they built that obviously with the thought in mind of the additional population that will be moving here and living here given all the building and the housing boom here. So that is an awesome high school with you know sports fields and great amenities for anyone who's attending that high school. And again, that's part of the Mesa Public School System. And guys, uh, Mesa Public Schools, depends where you're at. You know, they're gonna be rated uh, anywhere from average to good. You know, the, the schools on the west side of Mesa, generally speaking, are not as highly rated as these schools out on the eastern side of Mesa. But again, that's generally speaking, and there are charter schools and private schools as well all throughout Mesa that you can choose to send your children to if you do not want to do the public school system. Guys, 
this is one of Mesa's larger high schools, Red Mountain High School, out here in East Mesa, right inside the 202 Red Mountain Freeway Loop. And it's a whole complex here of an elementary school called Sauk Elementary. There it is right there. You can see the high school, Red Mountain High School football stadium right there. And you got a great view straight ahead of Red Mountain. Red Mountain School is an A plus school in terms of the ratings here in the Arizona area. And there's Red Mountain Park. This whole area back here is very cool and has been established for a little bit of time here. And straight ahead, you can see the Superstition Mountains as well. So you have a great view of that as well. Okay, guys, we're going to Los Endes. Los Endes is another master plan community that's a little bit older, obviously, than Eastmark. And it is gorgeous. There was a couple really nice newer subdivisions or master plan subdivisions in the uh, central to East Mesa area, such as Copper Canyon, Red Mountain Ranch, Las Endes, just to name a few. Las Endes has a golf club in it, and it is actually one of our underrated golf clubs courses in the Phoenix area. I played there a couple times, and the slope rating from the, the Blues is, is outstanding. I mean, it's, I want to say it's 142 or something like that from the Blues, and close to 150 from the tips. So it is a very challenging, but absolutely gorgeous and well-maintained golf course. So if you're in the Phoenix area, you know, Scottsdale is tough to beat because it is a golf mecca of the world. Um, but if you're looking for something outside of Scottsdale, I highly recommend Las Endes. It will challenge you. It's a, it's a well-maintained, beautiful desert golf course, and you will not be disappointed. So some of the areas in Las Endes are gated, some are not. Okay guys, now in the Phoenix greater area, most newer developed outskirts of the area like East Mark and East Mesa, could be in Queen Creek, could be on the west side in Buckeye, but they all have a CFD tax, okay? Now what this tax means is that part of the tax that the, the developer passes on to the homeowner when they buy a house that's brand new to help offset some of the fees that the city charges them when developing a brand new community. So for example, in Eastmark, now every single area is a little bit different. So for example, Queen Creek, the percentage is a little bit lower than Mesa, but Mesa's percentage is around 0 0.0075 with the purchase price, okay? So if you buy a home, say for $400,000, the one-time CFD that you're gonna pay is about three thousand dollars you know in addition to your normal closing costs when you buy a house so just something that you need to be aware of when you're looking at new construction for most different cities and towns throughout the uh, greater phoenix metro area so a lot of people ask what is a cfd for well that tax is again for things like roads and street lights sewer all the infrastructure that goes into developing the entire community a lot of the common areas throughout the entire development when they are putting everything in.
Thank you guys very much for joining us on our video of Mesa, Arizona. I really appreciate that and supporting our YouTube channel, Everything Phoenix, where we do and talk everything Phoenix, right? We are passionate about the city and want to continue to spread the word out to everybody about all the great things and the not so great things because every city has that too. Um, but please feel free to comment below. Let us know what you think of this video and all the other videos or any other topics you'd like to see us do. Uh, Mesa is a great place. Again, it is the largest suburban city in America by population. It's huge. So very cool, uh, very spread out, very family oriented, a lot of things to do. Hope you enjoyed it. Call us at 888-KCREG11 with any further questions. We'd love to talk to you. We're helping people from out of state actually relocate down to the Phoenix area and Mesa is one of those areas they're always looking at. So we would love to help you out if you're relocating to Mesa or buying or selling a property. You can email also at info at kellyvickacombs.com. Reach out anytime you want. We will get back to you immediately. You can also check out our Instagram page at Kelly Cook Real Estate Group as we're doing some really cool stuff on a daily basis that we'd love to share with you as well. Thanks guys, have a, a wonderful day and don't forget to call me. Yeah.